Wayne Shorter, the enigmatic, intrepid saxophonist who shaped the color and contour of modern jazz as one of its most intensely admired composers, died on March 2 in Los Angeles. He was 89. No cause of death was shared. Shorter was nominated for 23 Grammy Awards during his career and won 12 times. His first Grammy nomination was in 1973. His most recent win was in January for Best Improvised Jazz Solo Performance for Endangered Species. Shorter began playing the clarinet at age 16, but later turned his focus to the tenor sax before entering New York University in 1952. Throughout the late 50s and into the 60s, Shorter joined various jazz groups and collaborated with artists such as Maynard Ferguson, Joe Zawinul, and Art Blakey. Steve Mackey, the bass guitarist for Pulp, during the band's most successful years, has died on March 2, aged 56. His wife, stylist Katie Grand, announced the news on her Instagram page. Mackey passed away after a three-month health battle in hospital, the band revealed on social media. Mackey's cause of death has not yet been given. The bassist was part of the rock group Pulp, which he joined in 1989 which was best known for its hits such as Common People, Babies, and Disco 2000. He married stylist and magazine founder Katie Grand in 2009. Mackey also leaves a son Marley. Irma Serrano, the Mexican actor who became a politician and was once the girlfriend of a Mexican president, has died on March 1 at the age of 89. The star suffered a fatal heart attack. Serrano started out as a dancer and a singer of traditional Mexican ranchero music in the 1960s. She had a long-running affair with then-president Gustavo Díaz Ordaz, who was married and served as president from 1964 to 1970. She was known for her extravagant makeup and clothing, and was nicknamed the Tigress. Reku Browning the horror film legend who starred as the Gill Man in the 1954 movie Creature from the Black Lagoon died on February 27. He was 93. Browning died in his home in Florida, of natural causes, his daughter Kim Browning told The Hollywood Reporter. He had a fabulous career in the film industry, providing wonderful entertainment for past and future generations, she said. Browning was a film industry veteran having worked on some of the most famous films ever. In addition to his work as a stuntman and director, he was renowned for his underwater filming expertise. He is survived by his four children. Linda Kasabian, a member of the notorious cult led by Charles Manson that murdered film star Sharon Tate in 1969, has died at the age of 73. Though she died January 21 at a hospital in Tacoma, Washington, the news only began to circulate widely this week. Kasabian was the key witness in the Manson family trials in 1970 and was granted immunity by prosecutors for her testimony, which led to the conviction of cult leader Charles Manson and several of his accomplices. Bob Richards, the only male two-time winner of the Olympic pole vault, who in the 1950s became a hero of American Cold War competition with the Soviet Union and a breakfast table hero to millions as the first champion on the front of the Wheaties box, died on February 26 at his home in Texas. He was 97. Richards competed at the 1948, 52, and 56 Olympics in the pole vault. His son Brandon, wrote in a social media post that his father passed in his sleep, peacefully surrounded by loved ones. The former president of the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences, Walter Murish, the astute and Oscar-winning film producer who oversaw such classics as Some Like It Hot, West Side Story, and In the Heat of the Night, has died on February 24 of natural causes. He was 101. Mirish received the Best Picture Academy Award for 1967's In the Heat of the Night, and the company run by him and his brothers also produced the Best Picture Oscar winners, The Apartment and West Side Story. 
Murish entered the movie business in his teens, advancing from usher to management jobs with a theater chain before going on to production work on low-budget action flicks and westerns in the late 1940s. Gordon Pinsent, an award-winning Canadian actor acclaimed for his performance as a heartbroken husband in the film Away From Her, died February 25 at 92. His family announced the death. They said Pinsent died in his sleep. Mr. Pinsent suffered a brain hemorrhage at home during the night of Friday, February 24, and died at Toronto General Hospital Saturday. Pinsent worked for decades in radio, television, and movies. With more than 150 film and television acting credits, Pinsent's career spanned seven decades and made him a household name in his native country. In 2008, he received the Academy of Canadian Television and Cinema's Jenny Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role for Away From Her. Bernie Mattinson, a legend of Walt Disney Animation and the studio's longest-serving employee, died on February 27 after a short illness at age 87. The animator involved in the animation industry since the early 1950s. He has been the company's longest employed worker, working as a story artist in the Walt Disney Animation Studios since 1953. He worked with Disney on evergreen movies like The Jungle Book and 101 Dalmatians and worked for the company as the longest serving employee. Paul Berg, a Nobel Prize winning biochemist who ushered in the era of genetic engineering in 1971 by successfully combining DNA from two different organisms, died on February 15 at his home on the Stanford University campus in California. He was 96. His death was announced by the Stanford School of Medicine. After his breakthrough with DNA, Dr. Berg led a momentous convocation of scientists to establish safeguards against the misuse of genetic research. Jean Fort was an American starting pitcher who played from 1946 through 1953 in the Old American Girls Professional Baseball League. Died on February 28 after suffering a long illness. She was 98. Fort was a two-time player of the year and four-time All-Star in the AAGPBL and is the only professional pitcher to pitch two perfect games. Three-time World 110-meter hurdles champion and 1984 Olympic runner-up Greg Foster has died on February 28 at age 64. The University of California at Los Angeles Athletic Department announced. The American legend had been battling amyloidosis, a rare disease in which a protein buildup causes organ damage. The illness led to a 2020 heart transplant. Foster died peacefully on Sunday, a statement from the school said. Austin Majors, a former child actor best known for his role in NYPD Blue, died on February 11 in Los Angeles. Major's death was confirmed by Los Angeles Country Medical Examiner Coroner. His cause of death was a fatal ingestion of fentanyl, according to reports. He was 27. His performance on NYPD Blue earned him the Young Artists Award for Best Performance in a Television Series, and his work on Treasure Planet earned him a nomination for Best Performance in a Voiceover Role.